All right, so I want to do this quick video, bush camping tools here. As you can see, uh, you can't see anything. It's pitch dark. Uh, we're in a cave. You can't get any darker than this. So the question is, for all you um, beginner cavers out there, if you're getting new into caving and you're looking at lights for backup lights, okay, from your main light, you should have the super most reliable light you can afford for your main light, definitely. But you should carry backup lights. Now, I've got a backup light. It's mounted on my helmet. It's waterproof to about two meters. So, yeah, I'd have to stick my head under the water for, you know, uh, down two meters for half an hour before it started leaking. Um, and it's pretty sturdy. But what's really important is run time. So the question is, in this total darkness, can I get out with one lumen? One lumen on this particular torch goes for 47 days. Let's look at one lumen. Let's see if the camera can pick up one lumen. Now, I can't see the camera at the moment, but that is one lumen. So the question is, is it an, in an emergency like this, provided I never lost the torch or broke it underground, I've got one lumen here for 47 days. Now, I can see pretty well in front of me here, I would not be moving very fast in a cave, so just listen to this. That's right, behind me is running water. So if a sump was suddenly rising from some flash flooding somewhere above ground and I had to make it out, I had to prussic out at 100 miles an hour, or I had to just make it out of the cave really quickly because I can now see the water around the bottom of my feet where it wasn't five minutes ago. I'm not sure I could get out of the cave really fast on one lumen, but I can, I don't know whether the camera's picking up, but I can see with my eyes here now, I've been in underground now for uh, about uh, one hour. Yeah, just on an hour. And uh, I can see pretty well here with one lumen. And I would be comfortable myself because I know this cave to exit it. I know the cave very well, so I could exit it easily on one lumen. Let's go to 30 lumens, which goes for 80 hours. 30 lumens. So that's 30 lumens. I can definitely see fine with 30 lumens. There's no problems whatsoever on 30 lumens. And of course, if we go up even higher again, you know, we're going uh, well over 100 lumens there, which is easy peasy. Back to total darkness again. So the question is, yes, you probably could get out with one lumen. But let's face it, you want, as a backup torch, you have to have long burn times. I think you have to have long burn times. You either carry up, you know, you should be carrying lots of batteries. We're carrying lots and lots of batteries. We've got enough batteries on us and lights with us. We could stay underground, uh, food being the biggest problem. We've got lots of water here, so we're not worried about water. Uh, but, you know, we could probably stay underground for five days here uh, using our lights all the time, essentially, if we had to. But we've got lots of backup lights. Uh, all of our serious backup lights are waterproof at least to two meters for half an hour. Our main lights are waterproof. They're diving certified. Okay, I'm going to turn one of them on now so you can see this. Okay, that is uh, one of them there. All right, let me just, I'll just take off the helmet a bit just to make sure the camera's pointing. Yeah, so that's one of them there, right? Okay, that's at the low beam setting. I'm going to go to the high beam setting. That's the high beam setting there. And it's super, super bright. There's going to be no problems in uh, seeing my way out with that. And that's off and the low beam. Okay. So there you go. That's just to get an idea of, you know, light power within the cave. What can you actually do with things? And you should have long burn times. You should carry in reliable batteries, reliable main lights, definitely. They don't have to be, you know, diving certified, obviously. But, um, you know, you certainly can't go wrong with that. Okay, push camping tools here. Enjoying a bit of caving. Thanks for watching.